sensors constantly monitor engine operating conditions and relay that information back to the electronic control module. The ECM is the computer that controls the engine. It has three main functions. It provides power for the engine electronics. It monitors input signals from engine sensors, and it acts as a governor to control engine RPM. It also stores engine operating information, such as faults, events, and cumulative operating hours. The personality module is the software in the ECM, which contains the specific maps that define power, torque, and RPM of the engine. The ECM sends electrical currents to output device. The heart of the electronic system is the new electronic control module. This powerful, state-of-the-art computer controls all engine functions, providing excellent performance and fuel economy while meeting stringent and ever-changing exhaust emission standards. The ECM provides many electronic features, including full authority electronic engine control, logging of engine faults, improved electronic engine diagnostics, electronic cruise control, programmable electronic PTO, engine monitoring and protection, and more than 100 programmable features. The vehicle harness connects the ECM to the engine harness connects the ECM to all of the sensors and actuators, including the EUI injectors. The vehicle harness connects the ECM to the engine control portion of the main vehicle harness. This includes the accelerator pedal position sensor, vehicle speed sensor, transmission, brake and clutch switches, cruise control and PTO control switches, data links, check engine and warning lights, engine retarder switches, speedometer and tachometer, and cooling fan solenoid. This wiring may seem complicated, but it's really quite simple. All of it is made up of many simple circuits. We will cover some of these circuits in the electronic system operation portion of this presentation. A pressure sensor measures changes in pressure and sends a variable DC signal voltage back to the ECM. Pressure sensors have three wires. The first wire supplies voltage from the ECM to the sensor, providing power for sensor operation. This supply voltage is precisely controlled to 5 plus or minus 0.5 volts. The second wire is get a ground on. wire from the ECM uh, spot, the get on. that provides a zero volts reference. The third wire is a signal voltage from the sensor to the ECM. This signal voltage varies with changes in the pressure of whatever the sensor is monitoring. The operating range of the signal voltage is slightly greater than zero volts and slightly less than five volts. A typical operating range for signal voltage is 0.5 to 4.5 volts. The M determines if the temperature sensor is open or shorted by monitoring the resistance value. If there is a short, the resistance value is near zero. If the sensor circuit is open, the resistance value is very high. The important temperature sensors on the engine are the coolant temperature sensor, intake air temperature sensor, and the fuel temperature sensor. The third type of sensor is a position sensor. An example of a position sensor is the accelerator pedal position sensor. This sensor monitors the position of the accelerator pedal and converts that position into a pulse width modulated signal that is sent back to the ECM. A position sensor has three wires. The first wire supplies voltage from the ECM to provide power for sensor operation. The supply voltage for the accelerator pedal position sensor is eight plus or minus 0.5 volts. The second wire is a ground wire from the ECM to the sensor that provides a zero volts reference to the sensor. The third wire is a signal voltage from the position sensor to the ECM. The accelerator pedal position sensor generates a pulse width modulated signal. 
which is a square wave. A square wave is either full voltage or zero voltage, on or off. Duty cycle is the percent of on time. The duty cycle for the low idle accelerator pedal position is between 10 and 22 percent. Duty cycle at the high idle accelerator pedal position is 75 to 90 percent. The accelerator pedal position sensor transmits this duty cycle signal to the ECM at a constant frequency. This type of sensor the ECM determines if the accelerator... The fourth type of sensor is a speed sensor. The speed timing sensor has a permanent magnet and a coil of wire. A change in the magnetic field of the sensor induces a voltage into the sensor. The ECM reads the increase and decrease in voltage as a signal. As the camshaft gear rotates, signal teeth cast into the gear pass through the magnetic field of the speed timing sensor. The sensor generates a signal voltage as each timing tooth passes. The ECM counts the time between these signals to determine how fast the engine is running. All of the teeth are evenly spaced except one pair, which has an additional tooth between them. This additional tooth sends an additional signal, which indicates top dead center to the ECM. Because speed sensors use an internal magnet and coil to generate a signal voltage, they do not require a supply voltage from the ECM. They also use only two wires instead of the three wires used on pressure and position sensors. After starting, the crankshaft signal is used because it provides a more accurate and stable timing signal. With the new dual sensor system, if the sensor fails, the ECM will log an active fault and the engine will continue to run. With the older single sensor system, in review, the electronic systems on the engine may seem complicated. However, once you understand how these basic types of sensors work, the operation of individual circuits, the electronic systems on the engine may seem complicated. However, once you understand how these basic types of sensors work, the operation of individual circuits becomes much easier to understand.